Anyway, let's start another run. <laughs> and I guess, I mean, to be fair, had it been a more comedic game, Last of Us Part 2, I'm sure that moment wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have felt as funny. But there's also something funny about a moment in a game that's supposed to be very serious. Especially in something that's been trying to be serious the entire time. And then you just have that <laughs> thing look like it's out of nowhere. Santa Barbara section is a joke. I totally agree. Like the game was over and then you go to the farm and then a little bit of dialogue happened. And then it's like, nope, back to the game we go. We couldn't write a proper ending in Seattle, so let's tag on this little DLC ending. <laughs> oh no, <clears throat> I'm starting to talk too much about it again. But yeah, that garage store punch is just hilarious. <laughs> and that, it just has such a... I don't know, I can't describe it, but it's just... It's just funny. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I could probably talk about how <laughs> talk about Last of Us 2 for like forever or hours at least. But <laughs> I feel like uh, at the same time, I also feel like I shouldn't because I know so many people just like the game, and I also got a lot of shit in the past for hating on the game. So I feel like I shouldn't really <laughs> do it. It still feels wrong to talk about it and critique it. He's lucky to have you. you might disagree. But at the same time, it almost feels like a guilty for. pleasure as well. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take Black paddle arms, let's go. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think <laughs> Someone put it on him. Of course they did. <laughs> You're riding well. How are your wounds? I remember I, there was a stream I saw that had it as his follower. Uh, that, yeah, I think it was his follower notification on Twitch for a while. Where every time somebody would follow, that clip would play. <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions. Like that was back when the game came out. Or blade. <laughs> That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. You should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. But now, nah. for those who don't know, I'm just really not a big fan of Last of Us Part Two. And granted, I never wanted a sequel in the first place because I felt like the first game was just so good and did definitely not need a sequel in any way, shape, or form. And now we got one, and it turned out to be absolute. Scare the rocks on that side. If well, not bad. Way, alert the guards. Oh yeah, it was very bad. This isn't formidable. <laughs> so in a way, it feels weird for me to say I was disappointed with Last of Us Part 2. Because like I said, I never wanted a sequel to Last of Us Part 1. Let's move. But I didn't expect it to be so bad as it was. And I guess that caused me to be really disappointed anyway. I don't know. <laughs> but it was that or star. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts. Yeah, I expected Cold nothing and I was still let down. Out by the Mongols. We have to fight back. Any way we can. Through here. But there's just so many things that were just like I don't know. <laughs> It's just a spin-off game, yeah. <laughs> Stay ready, Jim. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? And by the oh, way, if you're watching this right it. now and you like Last of Us Part 2, don't let me discourage you. This arrow <laughs> should not have killed him. I don't care if people like Last of Us Part 2. I don't like the game. I have my reasons why, but I couldn't care less if you like the game. Actually, I'm happy if you like the game, because nobody wants to... Nobody wants games to be bad. 
Didn't just want to emphasize that as well. Because that's the unfortunate thing about Last of Us 2. Because of how toxic the talk about that game has been over the years, people also assume that we need to go. We'll talk <coughs> that if you um, Come on. Let's get don't like the game or vice versa, you have to hate the other side or another me? person, whatever. You know what I mean. And that's stupid. Lord Hopefully we can all agree on that. And I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking and for that's why I shouldn't have to say these things, but at the same time I kind of have to. I heard they were hunting Mongols in Sitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving. Yeah, exactly. I disagree with you, so you're wrong, and we should not be able to talk civilly about this. You know, that ty type of stuff. I hate that stuff. Let's go, bro. You know, like I got plenty of games out there I, you know, don't like. But why would I hate people that like them? <laughs> That's just a such a silly thing. By the way, I'm not saying a sequel to the original Last of Us couldn't have been good. I'm sure there was pro probably a way to write a sequel for it that would have been good. But what we got wa was not it, in my opinion. Just a pointless revenge story that doesn't really do a whole lot of things with a bunch of uninteresting characters besides Yara and Lev. Yara and Lev actually were interesting characters, but... Sadly, by the time they got into the game, I was kind of done with the no game. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? And everybody else was just yet. pointless or forgettable. Quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. Do you mind? Except Danny, of course. Danny was a fantastic character in Last of Us 2. One of the best characters in video game history. Like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. You don't think we're gonna get the Monster same Danny meme in uh, Come. the TV show? <laughs> the Mongols took Fort Nakayama. The, patrol likely the game would have been better if you never played as Ellie. Probably. Something happened here. But that being said, Abby yeah, still needed like some motivation. To my greatest like, event. Abby has no plot in the game. Blood. Like, she gets a plot when she no goes died. to save Yara and Lev. But prior to that point, like... What is Abby's plot? She has completed her quest of killing Joel. <laughs> like, nothing really happens on Abby day one. On the first part of part, day two. I mean, sure, she goes out to find her boyfriend, I suppose. But, like... Why did That's it. I fail? The Mongols fought like you don't remember who Danny is? That's the point. I saw it with my own eyes. And at the end of Abbey Day 1, they come eyes. to like a body bag Daddy, where they open it and say, Oh my god, they got Danny. Stop here. And literally everyone, and I mean everyone I've seen play the game, say, Who the heck is Danny? Because the game does a really poor job of telling you who Danny is. And if you don't know, Danny was one of the guys that were in the house when they killed Joel. Like it was made and for me. He was one of the guys that Tommy killed in the hotel you come across with Ellie. And you're supposed to know who Danny is in that moment. But obviously the game did a piss poor job of letting you know who Danny is. And that's why it's really funny they open that body bag and it says, Oh my god, they got Danny and everybody is just like, who? <laughs> it's almost like there's some very important scenes that are missing in that event. We'll get a better look at but that's why it's always there. funny to joke about Danny being the best character. <laughs> so that's 
the story of Danny. I'll find a way in. Oh. Survey the battlefield. What can we use to our advantage? Born in nests. One shot could start. That man is. Oh uh, no, that's the Pendejo guy. What's he called? Manny, right? Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. Yeah, that's Manny you're thinking of. He gets shot by Tommy. And start fires. They have many archers. Skilled. Supposedly Abby's best friend, but Abby clearly doesn't care about he get him getting shot. Because she never mentions him after he gets shot, which is also hilarious. Goes to show how unimportant of a character he was. <laughs> anyway, let me focus here. Let's go. <clears throat> We're in a good fight now. Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? A scroll. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught <laughs> her to make the knock with deer horn. Yeah, exactly. With that curve of the evil feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongo shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. I mean, Abby is really hard to care about. I mean, same also with Ellie in like the first game. Obviously, Abby kills Joel, but even if you ignore that part, a survivor. Like, you know, Abby also straight up holds a knife to uh, what? What's her name again? Dina, and Ellie tells her, "Oh, she's pregnant," and then Abby is just like, "Good, <laughs> like, come on." <laughs> I've seen enough. Let's go. You know. <laughs> Killed her. Sensei? The more won her freedom. She joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Sensei! I demand an answer. Yeah, I mean, I guess Ellie didn't know. Uh, Mel was pregnant, I suppose. Also, Mel is also just such an annoying character in Last of Us Part 2. Like, my god. Maybe not like Mill as a character, like the personality of the character, but like not only she is pregnant, but let's ignore the fact that she's pregnant. She's literally a doctor or becoming a doctor. I forgot exactly what it is, but clearly a person that would be highly valued in a society like that. Yet she, for some reason, feel like it's very important to go into frontline combat and just like what? Do you realize how hard it is to find doctors in this world? Why are you ever even remotely close to the front line? <laughs> uh, and plus, you're pregnant at the same time. <laughs> like, that's, just that story beat alone is, like, extremely questionable. <laughs> 
this weekend let's talk about something good people have triggered me and i need to let my quota of damn talking last of us part two out <laughs> i also got triggered the other day like i said in jay's chat because the topic got brought up there as well so i'm just venting <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it's almost a guilty pleasure for me to talk, to criticize Last of Us Part 2. I don't know why, I just can't help it. And I should be a better person and just not talk about it, but I can't. Because I still see that game being praised so much and it's just like, grr. It won Game of the Year over Ghost of Tsushima. How much more do I need to say? Lady Masako, <laughs> warriors of Clan Arati. Is anyone here? Kill him! Where's Lady Masako? Who are these men? Not long ago. <laughs> not bandits. I should be a better person, but I can't. What happened here? And the game just annoys me, okay? <laughs> Used by the women of Clan Adachi. <laughs> they fought to defend their family. And also, I just feel like it's fun to talk about it. <laughs> they were trying to escape, pass the children through the window. If anyone survived, they may have fled on horseback. Better check the stables. Empty stables. <laughs> yeah, if this is sub 250. Oh boy, it's gonna be some fun YouTube comments. <laughs> left a trail. Can't wait for people to type, is he just complaining about Last of Us 2 for three hours while getting old recording Ghost of Shima? That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> this is my fuel for the fire of getting sub 250. Falling horse. This horse belonged to Clan Adachi. Dead for days. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say that as well. I fought men at your estate. That for how good Elden Ring was, Ragnarok should have had Game of the Year. I haven't played Eld I haven't played either games. I guess I can't speak out about it too much. But from since I've seen playthroughs of both games, I can definitely speak for both games, I suppose. But I don't know if I could necessarily pick a winner between the two. But I probably would lean a bit more towards Ragnarok. In fairness. But again, haven't played it, so take my opinion what a green is all. No, I've not played Ragnarok. Yet. Sorry you endured this alone. I am not. I think both Elden Ring and Ragnarok will probably be my summer games this year. Ah, Mas will push me off. You can't blame yourself. But it is my duty to punish them for it. But yeah, in case you're wondering, uh, the Last of Us Part Two topic came up because uh, of of uh, the TV show as well. Because uh, there's a lot of talk about how they're gonna do part two for the HBO show. So that's why we started talking about it. And it started with me saying I feel like it's pretty funny that people are suggesting they need multiple seasons to do part two. When, in my opinion, less things happen. Or, not less things, but like, not really a whole lot more happens in part two compared to part one. Thank you for your time. If you really think about it. Sure, the game is longer, but there's not more set pieces happening in part two than the original. Lady Masako sent me. <clears throat> I feel like also the main thing, other like it does everything a Souls well. game need to do with Elden Ring. And from what I hear from people, it seems like the main thing people are just praising is the open world design. But sure. It's pretty good. I'd imagine. Sogen arrived from Kamiagata at the beginning of autumn. 
The plot to destroy my clan took precision, planning, and a war to cover the treachery. I don't know. I'll definitely play both of the games this year and make a better decision on it. The reason why I didn't play Elden Ring yet is because when it came out, it was right next to Forbidden West, and obviously I was gonna play Forbidden West. Um, and then last year I just never found time to where I wanted to play it, so I never ended up playing. And God of War came out at a time where I just really wasn't in a mood for like a story-based game, so that's why I haven't played it yet. Because I just knew at the time I was not going to be in the mood for it, so it would be bad of me to playing it. But uh, like I said, this summer will probably be when I'll play through both of them. Maybe even on stream. I've seen a playthrough of both games though. I don't care much for spoilers. Like even though I didn't want to play God of War, I still kind of wanted to know the story of it. So. I've never been big on spoilers, so I don't really care. I can easily replay it without... Without having the story be blind for me. So. But like I said, it'll probably be my summer games. Elden Ring and uh, Ragnarok. Because they are on my backlog and I definitely want to get through them. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you are hating on Elden Ring, Elsie. You just think Ragnarok is better. That's my take on it. Or my read on you. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those men slaughtered my Alright, hey. let's get a good fight here. Fight. Nowhere to run, sir. You destroyed clan. Find me when you're done. Very nice. Hmm. Names. And a symbol. Masako might know them. I mean, to be fair, the same as well for Ragnarok. From what I've seen, Ragnarok doesn't really do anything new, it just does everything it does really well. You know, which not a, that's definitely not a bad thing in any way. But then again, how often do you really get a game that truly innovates on stuff? That is rare. But it's also important that the thing you do and when you're making a game, that the few things you choose to do, that you do them really well. You want to know your name section in New Game Plus? Is that the section where you... Um, is that that really slow section where you... Is it picking berry? I forgot what you're doing there. Yeah, that... You're picking something or collecting something, aren't you? Oh yeah, travel on a yak, that's the thing, yeah. It's so slow. <laughs> yeah. That definitely... Even though I didn't play the game, that looked like a pretty... It looked like a section that needed to be much shorter <laughs> than it was. And you could maybe even argue, maybe it didn't even need to be there. That's gonna be a fun section in the speedrun when New Game Plus comes out. <laughs> For Ragnarok. <laughs>
Oh yeah, it's apples you're big on. I don't remember all the details from the playthrough I watched, and I probably missed a good amount of it, to be fair. <clears throat> but I do remember some of it. <laughs> A good most of it, I would say. <laughs> Let's go. Grasslands. Nice, we're gonna get the poison dots right here. Area. Good. Oh, we're gonna get even more than we need. Nice. Good, RNG. Kratos likes pee? What? What do you mean? Oh, sorry, Kato? What? When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery mm, I always sell. I wonder if we're going to get ghost names for the straw heads again. My dark. dark Mongol, give a dark now! You've been doing business with might. the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. I think we're one off, unfortunately. Damn it. Oh, sir. You sure you want to go through with this? Anything for Taka. But oh well, even if we don't have an on strike, still plenty of time to save on the other splits. A few people fought back. 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 The Mongols. <laughs> oh. Hey, I can see how you'd think that. <laughs> Get ready. They might search the car. You said they don't do that. The town gates? I've never seen them this far out here. Please, you can keep your voice. You, stop. Dust. That's for Azamo Bay! Aha! That's! Now, I haven't played the game myself either. But from what I saw in Ragnarok, 
I could be wrong about this, and I might have a different opinion once I played it. But Atreus didn't look as fun to play as, as Kratos in like combat situations. But maybe it was just how it looked. <laughs> Wets our old neighbor. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. Oh no. Somebody must have pissed off the Mongols. They burned half the town. Once we're done, I'll meet you at a crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. He's in charge. Slave. Bastard. He's inspecting the prisoners like they're horses. He might lead us to Taka. Follow him. Then dig him with the sword. Wouldn't try to run. Let's go. I feel like, from the looks of it, that they tried to make Atreus play too much like Kratos, whereas they probably should have made him like a completely different, you know character combat wise like maybe just have him use bow, bow and magic like no melee at all yeah there's a yeah i don't know i mean again i haven't played it so i don't know for sure it just looked like they were trying to be too similar to craters like it's not completely similar but it seems like it was held back a little bit by trying to be like Kratos. Whereas, if they had just taken some liberty and made him completely different, I it might have been better, perhaps. But uh, I'm sure I'll get a better feel for that once I actually play it, because I'm only judging it from what I've seen. And also, the spear that Kratos gets later in the game looks super fun to do. Or to use. Free ribbons make for more combos, yeah. It's pretty cool seeing like high skilled players in God of War chain like uh, all their heavy attacks for all the all three weapons together in fights. I've seen some pretty cool like short videos of it. Got some fast kills in God of War Ragnarok. 
Elsa's and Ghouls went in in uh, God of War 2018, but the, the ones in Ragnarok look even better because of the... <clears throat> Kenji's waiting for us uh, because you have like three weapons to do it with. They're really fun to watch, like those skill videos of people killing like a boss and like really quickly. There's a lot of videos like that for God of War. Stay down. It's Kenji! Taka! You made it! Were you followed? No, but we can't go back to my place. It's crawling with Mongols. We should go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay. <coughs> what a goof. Haven't seen a Mongol since dawn. I think we're clear. We need to figure out where to go next. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izahara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink and some sleep. I can help with one of those. Taka, you've been quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. My yeah, I saw a video of a, a guy defeating Na in like less than 10 seconds. I owe you it was no pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we have I think it was the same dude I also saw. Uh, do, um, I'm not built for riding all night. do the Valkyrie Queen in the um, first game. Just over that ridge. In also like 10 seconds or something. They have a full Pretty good Nolly. Good as a mobe. On to the Straw Hats. And I think I don't have Ghost Hands, but we'll see. I always forget how much Ghost you get from as But I think you only get two. On one shot. But uh, if we get a quick stand, off, it's fine. Oh, actually, no, I have ghost stand. Okay, so you do get free. Yeah, so the guy we shoot with the arrow counts as one, but the guy we stab counts for two. I don't know why he counts for two. But I'm not complaining. Even though you kill him in a cutscene, it's interesting you get ghost points for it. But there had to be more than one Mongol. And even weirder that they count for two. <laughs> Trying to get away from his attackers. This is for Komodo Beach. Kill them all. Has improved. You have been better, but I'll take it. One of the guys didn't get terrified in the beginning. Have you considered my offer? Is that notice that before he stopped me, stabbed me in the back? The last time we saw each other, two summers ago. The sushi tastes as bad as people say. I'm not a big sushi guy, so I guess I can give you an unbiased opinion. They needed a new sword. I personally just think sushi is overrated. Why did you tell me you I wouldn't say it's bad or anything. I just feel like for the price, I was sharing a drink. and for the I price, I, the drink I don't battle. think it's that yeah. special. I'll bet. Like I don't mind sushi. Like I can eat it and everything. I just something we can salvage. I guess I just think it's overrated <laughs> for how much praise Empty. it sometimes gets. 
Samurai. And also, Samurai. like, price-wise. Was this your wagon? To be fair, I've never had like some really high-end like sushi. Before. I'm sure that would help maybe be a much better experience. You anything in his power. I've had some sushi from re some pretty good places, but not you something like really high-end. And might change and make you their lord. And might make a difference. Island, <clears throat> by Mongols. We will drive them out. I just personally never Your really find myself in a situation where I want sushi. You really believe that? I believe it's worth fighting for. Been a dream. So I usually only get it when, easy keeping the straw hats together you know, I'm at a place where, How did you do it? well, they are getting sushi. <laughs> nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so, but it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still... Like my ex-girlfriend either was a big fan of sushi. That peasant said I got a lot back then, but again, I mean, it was alright. I didn't hate it or anything, it was just... You, think that you know, it was just... There. It is what it is. Oh. <laughs> you have an idea? The beginning of one. He's here. We use those back. About time. I don't see hmm. any food. Ben, this is my. I mean, have you never tried sushi oh, before? It's an interesting option for uh, for for a date, but uh, go for it. <laughs> I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Through here, Jean. You ride with the straw hats. You have to look for I've got to spare. I'd probably make sure I don't know how well you know your date, but <laughs> maybe make sure your date is okay with sushi. <laughs> if you need to reserve tables and stuff, that is. Obviously you can otherwise just figure it out on the day. But I would love to try like some really high-end sushi at some point. Like go to a really good spot for it. Just to see. But other than that, my opinion on sushi is just, it's just fine and I rarely ever find myself craving it. But if other people are getting it, I'm down for getting it. <laughs> the only thing is with sushi, I don't like the... I forgot what the term is, but the... Or what it's called, the sushi that had that are rolled in the black the stuff. In the cemetery. Uh, what's that called again? I don't know the English word for it. <laughs> as long as I don't get uh, the sushi that's rolled in that, you ready to steal some food I'm totally us? good. Magi, thank you, Lumi. <laughs> yeah, as long as I don't get those, I'm totally fine. A lot of men inside. <laughs> the signal at the top of the tower. They call reinforcements from the bay will be trapped. That I'm not a fan of. Find a place to watch for me. Once I destroy their signal, attack. They'll kill you. If they do, avenge me and take their food. That's not funny. Watch the tower for my signal. If you say so. I think some of the sushi has a little bit of it, but I'm mainly talking the one where it's covering the entire outside of the roll, if you know what I mean. Those are the ones I'm not a fan of. Signal the others. They'll see me like the brazier. It's time. Alright, let's nail this. See what we're up against. Mongols have small boats on the beach. We could steal one, but we'd have to cut through their army. Too many barriers and archers. <laughs> frontal attack would be suicide. I want my men far away from the enemy's line. Put your archers on that cliff. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal the boat. 
flaming yeah, speaking of Asian food, I have a lot of leftover we'll rice. Well, we I'm gonna make myself some fried food. rice tomorrow. All right, men. Let's find a way down to the beach. You heard Yuzo. That's we won't let you down. Watching you fight back there reminded me of Lord Nagao's. You did whatever it took to win. Hello, Anna. You fought just as hard. Did I? What you mentioned. Welcome to the stream. I knew they'd come through. Look at that fire. There you are, Sinka. This wasn't the plan, Chief. There's no time to fight. We need to get to that boat. We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Your men distracted the ship's crew, too. Look around. Nothing. I never knew our duo bothered you so much. Now you do. No luck. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different directions. I mean, every time I make anything red rice, I always intentionally make too much, so I have leftover for fried rice. Maybe on the next ship. That is fully intentional because you need leftover rice to make fried rice. No way around. <laughs> Can't make that with fresh rice. <laughs> Greetings. I'm doing it fully intended. That's it, Mina. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? The food isn't here. <sighs> Dang it. Nah, they just lined up terribly there, but I, I should have read the situation better. Coming across the bridge. But that's on me. What's in here? Don't hit me. These look like battle plans. Better go find your yourself. Close. It's a little annoying the last guy manages to stab me. <sighs> Unfortunate. I never quit. <laughs> Not the greatest already, huh? Should still save time though, but. Still hunting us. There's a good hiding spot ahead. Oh yeah, still saving a lot of time, but should have been much better. Oh well, nothing I can do about it. On to the next split. Still a good time save though. Don't get me wrong. I just messed up that uh, boat section there. I need to find Yuna. Let's get back in focus here and get a good Komatsu. Fighting ahead. Yuna, is that you? Jin! Nice. How many survivors are left? You killed all these men by yourself? Good work. I've had some practice. Can you get more arrows? Used ones. Stuck in buildings. And bodies. They'll have to do. I was out here leading villagers to safety. One of them got trapped over here by the Mongols. She's alive. Is it safe? The Mongols are gone for now. We're going to the forge. You'll be safer with us. Is the forge working? Yes, but we can't light it. The smoke will give us away. Show the Mongols where to find us. We can use it to lure them in. Force a fight at a location we control. They won't be expecting you here. Lord Zakai! Yuna! Taka. Yeah, messed up the NPC push there a little bit. Pushed her too far. Oh, 
очень хорво. Юкио? Stay close and follow my orders. Don't look at it. Look at me. Stay here! Thank you. Yukio sent me. What's up? My love. My God, I lost you. Are you hurt? That man fought like an animal or a demon. Brain vibe. Press the touch pad to the post. Stay close. We're playing Ghost right now, not Horizon. Come on, Elk. Swap outfits on pulse, not touchpad. Thank you, my lord. The Mongols are here. We're... All right, let's not mess up the Yuna section here. Let's make these headshots count. Stay close to me. I think that guy through the door is not an easy shot, so it's nice nailing it. Where did he come from? It's a long story. The way he killed them. He's not Because it has to be a headshot, and he really likes to move immediately to the side. So you gotta catch him quickly there before he <laughs> he moves out of the door. Just gonna nail the final fight here. And we should have a good amount of time safe. So let's get it. Yuna! Thank the gods. Like the forge, Tucker. What? We have to stop them. Good final fight. A lot of the other parts there in Kumatsu were not good, but the final fight was spot on. Let's go. That was really nice. It's been a while since I nailed a good Kumatsu. Feels good to get one. Let's keep it up. On to Iron Hook. Sweating over the job you gave him. He doesn't want to let you down. Let's see how it's coming along. 
<laughs> Speaking of Counter Strike, it seems like the Counter Strike announcement did not go as well as uh, Valve had hoped. But uh, who knows? When it comes out, it might be a different story. Lady Masako Adachi are still alive. They're dealing with their own struggles, but when it's time, they've agreed to help. Seems like it's getting the same scrutiny that Overwatch 2 got. <laughs> sure, that's enough. That's why I hired the store hat Ronin. Turns out their new leader is an old friend of mine. Well, sounds like you have all the help you need. Will you join us? I don't know. Can someone help with this? I'll get it. Go see Tucker. We'll catch up later. My lord, I just finished it. Thank you for your patience, my lord. An iron hook. Allow me to keep your katana Jin! and shot. Jin Sakai! Anyone see a samurai? I know. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, I think people are happy with the changes. I think people just How don't feel like it's enough you? to justify a new game. Oh, the one showing Mongol supply lines. Did you find food? Yeah, I watched uh, Denmark and Very Argentina. And I've seen highlights of some of the other matches. Men? The ugly bastard yeah, I didn't see the Argentina one, unfortunately. I barely got away myself. And you're sure the but I saw the highlight of Messi scoring 800. Hmm. I'm surprised the Mongols are alive yet. <laughs> so am I. Are you good singers? Might be more pleasant than but yeah, Denmark, <laughs> even though it uh, looked a bit sketchy at times against Finland, we at least managed to get out the win in the end. And obviously, Hoyland scoring a hat trick in his uh, first full match for the team, which is amazing. <laughs> and now that he scored a hat trick, people are already saying that either Arsenal or Manchester United is going to pick him up this summer. So that's cool. I never thought of it like that. You were born, Lord Saka. Because he's definitely not staying at At Atalanta with how well he's been playing. Become a samurai. <laughs> you should have come to me. I would have hired you. Oh yeah, the meta will definitely change for pro players, but you know they just have to adapt. But uh, pro players like things staying the way they are. But uh, <laughs> changes are for the better, I believe. I like the new What's the wrong? way the new smoke works. Get more famous than you. <laughs> At least I like the concept of it. But, uh, but yeah, I think people are just uh, feeling like it could just be an update to CS:GO. They don't think it's enough to justify a new release. But if it's gonna be free to play, have they confirmed that Valve? If it's free to play or not? I don't know. Because like CS:GO is free to play, so. If Counter Strike 2 is free to play, then surely people are not gonna care much. Yeah. Where's Hiro and Shinzo? They left. It's free to play? Oh, okay. Then people are not back. gonna care when oh. it comes out. Or, then it would be silly to complain. <laughs> I've seen some people uh, are worried that uh, a lot of their gun skins from CSGO is gonna be valueless. I don't know if they've talked about that, but I saw some people worried about that. Draw hats. Right. All the skins will be transferred? Gotcha. Maybe they were worried about the value then. I, I never cared much for people that care about skins anyway. I think they've done more harm than good. To see us. What's your rescue plan? Any game really. You're the one who got us onto that Mongo ship. Hmm. But yeah, the crowd was pretty nuts in the Argentina match. It'll be heavily guarded. That was like the first. It was Argentina, I guess, first home match since they won the World Cup. So that's awesome. Go over the wall. How? I probably should just rewatch the match. I think it's on my play. I have something to help me. I'll free your men. Once they're with me, I'll set off one of the alarms. That's your signal to ride in. Nice small. Looking forward to it as well. I got it pre-ordered too. I'll find a way up the cliff on this. Now let's just hope Argentina gets to host the World Cup in 2030 with uh, Uruguay and uh, Chile and Paraguay. I think we're the four nations in the bit. I would love another South American World Cup. 
But I have a feeling they're gonna choose Saudi Arabia. Because Infantino managed to stay as president of FIFA. But we all know how corrupt it is, so... It's probably gonna be Saudi Arabia. I guess technically Saudi Arabia is less corrupt than Qatar, but... I guess that we're nitpicking at that point. <laughs> or less of a corrupt choice, because they actually have a history of football. Unlike Qatar. <laughs> Section here. Oh. Sounds like they're caged all over the fort. Have been better. We place bets. How Fortunately, I did not get them to spot me up there. By the commander. All right, men. On your horses. But everything else was solid. I need to meet Yuna and oh well, on to Canada. Yeah, I'd imagine uh, there's gonna be a run for CSGO skins leading up to CS2, I suppose. Just because I'd imagine, like, even though they transfer over. They probably will have more value in CS2, I guess is the speculation. Welcome back. Because of, um, they probably won't be available in, uh, or as common in the next game. And there are probably also a lot of people looking to cash out <laughs> before uh, CS2. But if too many catch out at once, I suppose, I guess that should drop the price on some things. I hate sake. But yeah. You know that. Oh, well. What are you talking about? Kenji. Lord Sakai. Nonsense. Have a drink. You'll feel better. Forget all about Azamo. Everyone. It's time. Good speech. Right. Sure time to finish strong here in Egg One. <clears throat> Let's nail this. Looks like you can climb up here. That's up to the others. I'll see you inside. Be careful, Chief. Yeah. Oh. I messed up. Didn't get enough swing there. Huh? Whatever. I won't fail you again, Uncle. Silly mistake. Make me 
Better take down the guard. Sensei, you and Kinji. There's a siege weapon up ahead. Last time they turned it on Yuna and me. This time, we'll take it. We need to clear the courtyard. Quietly, or head on. <laughs> Failed me. I won't forget that. <laughs> I played a decent amount of CSGO, but I don't also don't think I have anything of value. Because I never really cared about the crates or skins. In a way I almost took pride of just having default weapon skins. When I played it. I'm not part of the system, man. Here you are. Quiet. More guards ahead. Find Lord Shimura. Where is he? Where is Lord Shimura? from the northern courtyard. Lord Sakai, we are Sensei. For the fallen warriors of Tsukima. Well, nice, let's go. That was a really good Canada. Let's go. And another sub 110. Act 1, let's go. Let's keep it up. One to Act 2. That's definitely the kind of run start we need. For 250. Or sub 250. Do you still want to leave Tsushima? There's nothing left for me here. Yeah, really good Canada. He successfully stole the syrup. <laughs> you don't need me. 
I need every ally I can trust. Good luck with your uncle. <laughs> nice heft. <laughs> I guess you got something good out of it. <laughs> we ride within the hour. Yes, Lord Shimura. If you have hides to spare, I can offer you something in return. I should check on the others. I hope it helps. Worthy of a samurai. You have my thanks. Sakai. You want well. What did your uncle say? We ride for Toyotama, Lord Sakai. The bridge is out, but the Mongols don't know about the old forest path. This way. Uncle. I'm sorry I didn't free you sooner. You have nothing to apologize for, Jin. I've seen what Mongols do to our people. I can't imagine what you went through. <laughs> it takes more than a bloated Mongol ruler to break my spirit. He learned our language, kept you alive. What is he after? He wanted me to aid his... I guess there's also some really good football matches tonight. Me wealth, power, wives. And the qualifier? He thought you'd turn against your own people? If I remember correctly, France is playing against the Netherlands and Belgium versus Sweden. Tell me about this woman who saved your life. Yuna is brave, loyal, and good in the fight. Ishikawa said if I'm not mistaken, those are some a little rough. the top matches tonight. Heart. Take care where you place your faith. You are friends with Yuzo too. The battles ahead will be difficult. I need to know I can rely on my people. You have my full support. And Yuna's. Long ago, chaos ruled this island. It was the samurai who brought order and unified all of Tsushima. We must show our people that honorable samurai still fight for this land. It is time you return home and reclaim the armor of Anzai. It has sat empty since my father died. The past cannot hurt you, Jin. You smell that burning wood and bodies. Also, isn't it funny how <laughs> I just thought about this with the CSGO skin thing? Never like this. Isn't it funny how Valve has just completely proved proven that you uh, the how pointless NFTs are since you can easily transfer skins between CSGO and CS2 without it needing a stupid blockchain to work. I mean, NFTs were already proven dumb, but I like that uh, this is uh, further irreterated on it. They're the Khan's wolves, sent north to ravage our people. The Mongols have taken our lighthouse. We will relight the flame, show the Khan we're coming for him. Give our people hope. We must find our lighthouses and rekindle every last one. Oh. Against them. 
Ready your bow. Nice! Let's go. Really good new horizon. You're ready. Ah, that was really good. Let's go. The fight outside in the fields could have been a little better, but I'm everything else was really it. solid. What an effective distraction. A pleasure to serve, my lord. We need more warriors. The fight out in the fields, I don't think. You may have trouble finding them. Lost a lot, if any. We have business in the lighthouse. Speak your mind. That was very nice. Sees the My lord, we freed a Mongol prisoner here. Ah, uh, it's a thing on Twitch now. A warrior monk. I have gotten a contract from Twitch this month. That's actually fairly good for me personally. So it runs ads automatically every thirty minutes. I promise it holds double that. Walk with me, Dorio. I want to show you something. Obviously, if you don't want to see ads. You like? can always subscribe, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free, which helps out the stream, because it supports me, but also in return you get no ads. Yeah, at some of us there was only due to the fight in the field. <clears throat> or you can get gifted us up, because Auntie is very generous. Thank you so much, Auntie. For the generous uh, gifted set and gladiator, enjoy the emotes. Norio's here. No sign of any other monks, though. But uh, next month there will not be automatic ads on my stream because Twitch is changing their ad incentives to work differently next run, and the way they have changed it for me personally is a bit of a joke. So therefore, once April starts, I won't have automatic ads. At least until I get some confirmation that the new system actually is better than the estimate given by Twitch. Because the estimate, I mentioned it in the stream last week, I think it was. The estimates for the new system are an absolute joke. I would borderline call it a, an insult. <laughs> yeah, there are other ways to avoid ads. You can also buy Twitch Turbo. Which is uh, basically like YouTube Premium, so you don't get any ads on any stream. But, you know, if you only watch, like, one stream, or, say, two streams, then you could also just sub. Depends on your viewing experience, I suppose. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Amazon Prime also is not a thing in Denmark, so I know you're feeling gladiator. <laughs> But yeah, for those uh, like Twitch, uh, the way it's been working since August this year, I actually no, I think July was the first month. Uh, ads, they had a new ad system on Twitch since July last year for partners. And um, by the way, I'm a partner on Twitch because I have the purple tick. Um, in case, just to clarify that. Um, so from July until now March here will be the last month. They have uh, paid partners a set amount of money each month to run a certain amount of ads every hour. And which was basically like a flat fee. Hey, run this amount of ads per hour, you get this amount of money. And it worked super great. And it was a honestly a good system when the offer was good. The offer would vary a bit month to month. And there definitely were some months where I didn't take the offer because I didn't think it was worth it. I took it for this month because it was actually pretty decent. 
but then starting from April next month here, they are changing the system. So no longer. On one hand, a good thing is you no longer have to stream a certain amount of hours to get your flat fee. But unfortunately, they are removing the flat fee. So now it's an estimate instead. And the estimates they've given for the next month are what... I mean, they're pretty bad. I would actually call them an insult, <laughs> to be honest with you. I understand I don't have had nearly as many viewers this last month because I mainly played Ghost, which I do get less viewers from. Oh, so my offers are going to be lower. But the estimates... So the amount of money in the estimate is not that big of a deal necessarily to me. It's more that the estimate varies so much. Because the estimate I was given for April is for 3 minutes of ads every hour. Twitch would pay me an estimate of between $60, or sorry, $16 and I think around $70. Come see me again sometime. I think we can help each other. And that estimate is just too varied to rely on, <laughs> you know. Yeah, the, the range is just too wide. Because on one hand, if it was a flat fee, let's say it was a flat fee $70, I would say that's borderline too low for me, for me to accept it. Or that would probably be too low for me to accept it, compared to the other offers I've accepted in the past. But that's their maximum estimate, even you, right? And there's, since it's an estimate, there's no way it's gonna, you know... It's obviously not going to hit max. <laughs> so it's going to be somewhere between 16 and 70. And that's just unreliable as a streamer. You know. So therefore, I'm just going to be like, I'm just not going to run ads. I'll probably push for more subscribers and stuff like that instead. But yeah, like, the range is just too wide on the margin to be reliable Audio's here. No sign so that's how their new system works they're just gonna give you estimates and technically you can stream as much or as little as you want you know for those you know with the flat fee in the past it used to say for me it was usually around 100 hours a month because that's what i average my stream time average is on per month but um But now, technically, you can do as many hours as you want, so you're not, you know, you're not forced to stream a certain amount. But because it's no longer a flat fee and it's more an estimate, you know, it's it's not, you know, I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence in that. <laughs> Especially when the estimate has such a wide margin. Like, between 16 and 70? You know, that margin is, like, way too big. At last, we have news. Yes, Lord Shimura. It is time. Especially because the new add-in system, system when they first implemented it back in July, the whole point of it was for streamers to have a reliable amount of money they would get. You know, like they would know, no matter what, they would get this amount of money as long as they streamed a certain amount of hours, right? But now that it's estimate, that whole point of it is just gone. He could have been flogged, but you saw a better path. A skilled sailor can be a valuable man. The Mongols have many ships. Um, uh, with the flat fee before greedy, the way it worked was you were given a flat fee no matter what. For if if it said like stream 100 hours a month, you would get that flat fee for the 100 hours. If you stream more than 100 hours, then you would get the split afterwards on the remaining hours you did. I'll do my best. But, I fear the but with the new system, it's just estimates. There are too many eyes so technically, it's going to depend a bit on how many viewers you have. But since the estimates vary so much, it's just unreliable. You know? Now the Mongols have it. So now there's no longer a flat fee. So like, if I were to accept the offer, which I won't, I would get between 16 and 17. And like I said, 70, that would be too 
That would probably be almost too low for me to accept if that was my offer for next month or a flat fee. So it being the maximum estimate, hell no. <laughs> Granted, I think the estimates are probably low to be fair because I've been streaming Ghost. And like I said, I do get less viewers from Ghost. So my estimates probably would be higher, say, had I done Horizon the entire month, but still, like, the estimate margin is just so wide that it, I can't rely on it, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's the other thing, Greedy. They are changing the system now as well. So if you don't ch take the offer, you don't get 55% split on that. So you get the old split if you don't accept the offer. That's another change, by the way, I should mention. So if you don't accept the offer, you don't get the new 55% ad split. So, for the month of April, I'm just not going to run ads. But I'm going to keep an eye on other streamers and, and uh, hear what they say if the estimates are accurate. Or how accurate the estimates are. Because if the estimates are, you know, are decent, then maybe I'll reconsider. I think for the month of April, I'm just going to ignore ads and probably try to push for some more subs instead to make up for it. But yeah, I, I think the new system is bad and I also think a lot less streamers are going to accept the ads or run ads going forward because it's no longer a flat fee. I think the big reason why they were so successful in getting so many people to run ads was because it was a flat fee, so you were guaranteed that money. But now that it's based on estimates, I think that's going to affect how many people are going to run ads. Which could maybe lead them to backtracking on it, but we'll see. Unless, like I said, it turns out at the end of April, the estimates are better than we thought, but... Or, you know... We are closer to the maximum estimate than uh, anticipated. I'll keep an eye on it from other streamers and hear what they say, but... But, uh, I think, generally speaking, I think less Twitch streamers will run ads in April. And going forward, if they keep that system. Because, um, I don't think people like the estimates over the flat fee. And sure, the flat fee definitely costs much more money. Because it's based on your viewers' previous months, and I'm sure for a lot of streamers, that viewers are gonna drop month to month, depending on what they play. But, from a streamer point of view, you obviously prefer a set rate. More ships on the way. Hold on, Goro. Because again, the whole point, or not the entire point, but a big selling point of the old or the old slash current system of ads on Twitch was that streamers could reliably say, no matter what, I'll get this amount of money. As long as I, you know, do the requirements. But now that's taken away. You know, because they're changing it to estimates. And from a streamer point of view, and I'm sure a lot of other people probably shares my mentality on it, an estimate is is not gonna be as appealing as a flat fee. 
What's up, Bailey? <laughs> right, this round is going super well right now. To be honest with you. But there's still a lot of run left. We're only halfway. And yeah, again, also because the estimates are so wide margin, I don't know if it's just my estimates, or, uh, but I, I've seen a few other people complain about it, that the estimates are too wide, wide in range. But um, I don't know if anybody has actually gotten some more accurate estimates, but who knows. But yeah, the range is just too much, like, because obviously I'm always going to look at the minimum, you know, because... There's no way it's ever going to be close to the maximum. <laughs> and the maximum is 70, which would be low for me personally to accept it. And the fact that it could be as low as 16, that, that is an insult. <laughs> I think a lot of people view it that way. I think a lot more people will focus on minimum rather than maximum. Because that's just strange human nature. So or right, maybe not all, but I think a lot of people will. Were you here when the Yadikawa rebellion and obviously I think Twitch is banging on people early. just focusing on the maximum. Did your parents move you? <clears throat> Something like that. But uh, we'll see. I'll uh, keep an eye out on throughout April and definitely at the end of April hear what how the numbers live up to the estimates. Let them pass. And then we evaluate it. But for the month of April, I'll run no automatic ads. Clear. This way. I guess one advantage, to be fair, that I'm not gonna have is... When you run automatic ads, there's not gonna be pre-roll ads. But for a streamer like me, where most of my viewers don't really watch... Has to return home. Or people that watch me are not really browsing games, usually. You know? And if you're not browsing games, then the pre-roll ad doesn't really matter. That only matters if you're playing like a brand new game and or a popular game where people are browsing streams. And Horizon and Ghost, since they're not the most popular stream games, people are not really browsing them. Some are, but definitely far from the majority. This was your idea. And therefore pre-rolls are not a big deal. Is that why you left? No. I got us in trouble. Good. It wasn't Are your all. fault. Are you sure this is a good idea? Are you ready to run? I can't keep going. Just follow Jim to the river. He used to catch dragon flies. If you make that quick, you'll pretend one was a very tall somewhere. And the other was a... Oh yeah, for sure, baby. Shimura always loved For sure. Interesting choice. Probably why they've held out this long. And um, my assumption is a lot less streamers will. Uh, Who are you? Run and tell the steward. A lot less streamers will uh, agree to run the new system. Maybe not in April. I think a lot of people are willing to try it out for a month. But if the estimates are not as closer to minimum than maximum, or not close to maximum at all. I think a lot of people are gonna drop out come me. And then uh, if the enough menu. people drop off, obviously Twitch Our loses money on ads. Or then Twitch starts losing money again. <laughs> you know, then they have to react to it. Shimura won't get his army. Don't worry. Too stubborn to surrender. I guess one likely thing to be fair is uh um, one thing that isn't which is favor with this new system is you are automatically opted in to run ads. So you have to actively opt out now, where it used to be the other way around. So I guess that benefits Twitch a little bit, because a lot of streamers might not realize it's automatically opted in. I think that's only for partners, by the way. I'm not sure about affiliates. But... Uh, Probably worth checking out when April starts, if you're automatically into it, or not, if you're streaming. The 
Axel Smith. Yeah, it could be. Maybe. I'm sure there's gonna be more viewers, but we'll see. Still doesn't mean it might be. Still might not mean it's worth it to run ads because I don't think it'll be a massive boost. Uh, no, only a, only the biggest streamers on Twitch, the ones that have like personal contracts. The average partner can opt in or They're not mandated to run ads. What's he doing here? But these new systems that I've talked about are to incentivize partners to run ads. Someone and I would say the system they had and currently have, where, are the where you get a flat fee each month, I think those so work well to get people to run ads. I don't think the new system will. Tracks. Unless, for most people, the, Let's find out. the numbers are closer to max to minimum. Or, even if it's in between the two, like perfectly in between, that's also going to be negative. It has to be close to max, I, I would say, for people to be happy about it. <laughs> A lot of people are running ads right now because of uh, the ad incentive offers. Like I'm running ads this month. <clears throat> They've been sleeping here. At least the bear didn't get them. But I chose to run ads this month because they actually gave Arrowheads, me a good offer for strings, it. High to make adhesive. The archers must have been here. Jin, Haka, I found... They stole the. But the offer next month it's too bad, so I'm not gonna run it. I like these archers. Tracks here. Damn, that's a long time. Heading up the hill toward that ridge. They're staying low for right, Let's get a good fight up here. Keep your heads down and don't call out. A samurai, alive. Get over here. up here. You must be the archers from Yariko. Let's have a look at that camp, prison caravan. Looks like the Mongols are preparing to move. Headed for a garrison on the other side of Old Yarikawa. We need to strike now, before they leave. There's your archers. All in good health. The sooner we free them, the better. Bad idea to rush in. Past. Dang. Still a pretty good fight, but would have been better had I noticed where that guy was earlier. But who knows what the future holds for Twitch in terms of the ad thingy. I just don't... I just think it's very likely that their new system will backfire because of the estimates. Because I think the main reason why, and I mean truly the main reason why the old system worked, was because of it being uh, flat fees and reliable money. I don't think people are going to be happy with estimates long term. Whoa, Fancy, did you get a PS5? I tell me you got a PS5. Is that what you're saying right now? You know, it's exciting, it's true. The Mongols. 
Let's go. How close? The recommendations. <clears throat> and as I always say to anyone who gets a PS5, play Astro's Playroom. That is not a recommendation, that's an order. It's a free game with the PS5, and it does a fantastic job showing all the things on the con. Play it. It's good. You won't regret it. Gate section, let's go. the general, Tamuke. Sounds like he's near the keep. I am Jin Sakai, and I have killed men like you all across our island. Your blood will stop the island! You have killed men in many countries to move in, but here, you die. split oh my god i'm dropping frames rip sorry about the frame drops hopefully it'll stabilize in a second don't worry about the video i'm locally recording so if it is a pbo record the video won't be affected but yeah sorry about the frame drops guys can't do anything about it He's not in the middle of the run. <laughs> run the down. So you already go. Is 
In case the stream were to crash, I'm just gonna keep going. I have the local recording if the stream were to go down. Hopefully it stabilizes in a bit. I really need that new router. I'm 99.99% sure it's my router at this point, by the way, because every time I reboot my router there's no issues, but it seems like once a day it's gonna have this little poop. Alright, it's stabilized now guys, so update the stream if you don't want to have delay. Oh, according to OBS, the uh, bed rate has stabilized. So uh, hit F5, update your window if you're watching. And uh, it should be back to normal and there should be no delay. But yeah, sorry about that. I'm gonna look into getting like a proper router. Again, I could just ask my internet provider, provider to send me a new router, which I think I'm gonna do. I think for stabilization long term, since this is my second router in less than a year that is apparently broken, I'm gonna look into buying like a proper router. I have no idea what to look for in that case, but I'll look into it. Because I think long term it will just be better and more reliable. <clears throat> Instead of getting these uh, routers that are just dying quickly and to be fair, I've probably just gotten unlucky because these routers are being reused all the time. So, you know, because obviously they're not brand new when you get them. But uh, I might just have been unlucky and gotten two dying ones <laughs> since it's the second one within a year. But that being said, I should still look into getting a decent one. Like uh, buying a proper one. Uh, my PS5 and my stationary PC all hooked directly in to the router. Only village. Uh, cable. Home. Or Ethernet ports, whatever. <laughs> PS5 and uh, no sign of uh, main PC is hooked up by cable. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch it. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds. Gathering plants. For yeah, an business. epic gaming router with it's 20 things sticking out. Food I'm glad It'll be so alive. good that uh, people down the block can, uh, alive. can steal my internet. <laughs> if they figure out the password. Freedom. Oh. <laughs> Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Musical. Good. She's been biting alongside the boys since she was knee high. But yeah, I know the stream was probably really laggy like during the section. I don't know if you guys heard me probably, but, but it's just I just wanted to say it again. In case this is the record, um, I, I am locally recording my speedrun, so even though the stream might be laggy, the lag won't appear in the video. Half the time he's right. So don't worry about it. He's unmatched. He would certainly agree. So the YouTube video and the one that goes on the leaderboards Sakai. won't have any lag. <clears throat> Unless my PC crashes or something, the local recording will be fine. <laughs> Time for a haiku. <laughs> I know, fancy. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I mean, I still use the Wi-Fi, to be fair, for, like, my phone and uh, my laptop. Because, obviously, those would be annoying to have plugged in. I mourn my father.
his grave close, his soul distant. Now I am alone. Nächster Boss. Oh, good spot. Uh. Alright, time to nail these headshots here. Gotta remember the first shot. First shot, you wanna aim a lot higher than you think you will. Or want to. Aim higher than you think. Earlier, you've been making poisons. Beautiful shooting, though. Oh, we got a Yuriko sneeze. Nice. <laughs> Enough to kill a man. No one deserves that. I don't know why randomly sometimes she'll just sneeze, which I guess is supposed to be random, but it's kind of, kind of funny. <laughs> but somebody programmed that into the game. NPCs randomly sneezing. Yuriko is not the only one that does it, but usually the one you notice. In the speedrun. No worries, Owo. Take care. But nice to hear, Fancy. You got a PS5. That's awesome. Are you gonna set a arena time on PS5 that I have to beat? It would be nice to have a target to go for. <laughs> Just have to show hand up first. Fair enough. Make it strong enough for the invaders. I don't blame you for going for hunt first. <laughs> I thought you weren't interested in story though, but fair enough. Or maybe the competition is too alluring. <laughs> or maybe hunt has been talking trash, and now you have to, uh, nice you know, to show him. <laughs> you and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. Whatever the story is, good luck with it. On that runt pony. So tall and straight in your little saddle. But you were the shogun himself. Hunt trash talking? Surely not. <laughs> you just thought it looked beatable. Damn, the disrespect. But fair enough. <laughs> I get what you mean. I'm just trying to stir up drama, you know? Oh, oh no. We'll sell more pay per view if uh, there's some so drama funny. to it. <laughs> I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. And the poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choked to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Uh, yeah, I think Greedy mentioned it early on the stream. I think it was Greedy. 
you sleep that uh, apparently Peter was playing on 1.0. I knew there was something weird about it. <laughs> so not too surprised. Here you go. I will get them for you. Don't eat the seeds, they're poisonous. I guess it's kind of nice to know that you can do it on I know. Remember how we got I guess it's kind of nice to know that it's possible on 1.0, but that being said, the problem is 1.0 doesn't have infinite jumps <laughs> or it does have infinite jumps, but you need to do it without dying. Which definitely changes the complexity of it. But um, at least now we have answers to why it is. Are you hurt, young master? So it'd probably still be worth it if they patched infinite jumps. It'd probably still be worth it for players wanting to do new game plus speedruns to do a, do a story playthrough without dying, unlock the arena and then do the dupe. No, it has oh. uh, there. There. there we go. Can't remember the outfit spot. Reach your weapon, Lord Sakai. Thanks. You and I may want to join me for this. Yeah. I can't take everything. What are you leaving behind? I knew there was something weird about it. I would be surprised if he was trying to hide it or try to make a fake strat to get attention. Because that definitely, to me, that didn't seem like the case, though. So. But uh, I gotta be honest, I never thought about him not being on current patch. You, you saw. <laughs> was the answer. I guess I didn't think about that because he also talked about infinite jump strats a lot. So I assumed he was on 1.18, I guess. Because otherwise you don't have unlimited infinite jumps. Oh well, at least we know now. But uh, like I said, I guess for New Game Plus, if you can get through story without dying and getting all the corals, and re uh, without restarting from save, it probably is still worth it to do that if Infinite Jumps gets passed. I actually know you can die and you can restart from save because you would just do the Sunwing then to get out of the arena. Never mind. Yeah, it's probably still worth it if you have a disc version to just do 1.0. As if straw hats aren't bad enough. Lord Sakai, wait. You might still need some stuff from the Burning Shores in the future for new game plus runs, but if you can get all the ring and stuff you need and just duplicate it, that's probably still faster than multiple playthroughs. Mongols are nothing but ugly dogs. If you have a disc with 1.0. Oh, Very nice. Not Sakai. Sounds like you'd buy it to Taka. Please, wake up. Taka. How? You were gone so long. I knew you were in trouble. I came to help, but the Mongols caught me. Zod, not Kapu Sukhtalak! Holy Shanta, Golden Hobbit! Only if we let them try to get loose. Samurai Tokrok! Totulhan! Mat! Rest in peace, Taga. Now let's get our revenge here. I need my sword. Zogs, not Kabuz of Talak, Holy Hamstead, Yamit Sky, Golden Horpur, Tilik Samurai Tokrok, Otulhan, Mando Tuan, Sakai, it's free. For a signal, you can be safe. More for a trite. He's son, so do it. The thing is, it's so taka. That's such a man. Love with Shatta. 
Nice, really good first fight. Come on, nail the second fighter. <clears throat> Let's get it. You know, wait. Taka! He wasn't supposed to be here. Why didn't he listen? Yeah, I need greedy fingers to mass X. <laughs> These magic fingers. Pretty solid. There's not a lot of mashing in this game though. <laughs> Compared to Zero Dawn or Forbidden West. It's a little very solid reckoning here. Very nice. You never thought you would hear me say Greedy has magic fingers? But he does. Samurai are here. Have you seen his mashing technique? Who goes there? I'm Lord. My lord, anything to offer from your hunting? I'll put these to good use. I hope it helps. Worthy of a samurai. Goodbye. I look forward to hearing you. That was a weird animation. I guess we got through the door. Take care, you know. I need to meet Lord Oga. Lord Sakai. Lord Oga. To be commended, Lord Sakai. To a bit low on resolve starting Castle Shimmer right here, so we gotta be careful. Be warriors, but I trust them with my life. Then I will do the same. Is it true? Castle Shimmer right here is definitely the biggest risk of this run. Needed something to believe in after my PB did the split absolutely perfectly. It's time we put these so any mistake here in this very it's long split will be time loss. It's time we save this island and the people who call it home. Politics can wait until the Khan is dead. We really need to really focus here. Lord Shimura, your nephew has and arrived. Really nail every shot. But let's do it. You have done well, Jin. Ah, kill them all! Stay 
Carlos, hold your position. Hold Sakai. Get the water. Not the best castle Shimra, but we're losing time. Unfortunately, the last bit there was a little slow. But we still have a good lead. <clears throat> and we still have close to a minute to play with. For sub 250. One to Douglas. Let's finish Act 3 strong. Yo, Sigrunt, thanks for the 15 month freeze up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support. Hope you're doing well. Long time no see, by the way. They're preparing a feast. I can poison the Khan's fermented milk. Let his army drink the Arag. Then kill any survivors. Fortified defenses. Explosives. My uncle's leading us into a massacre. Now to reach the Arag without raising alarm. Better take, better take the garden path. Here you, huh? Now to reach their feast, poison their drinks. Negium Harsinta. Very good on resolve, good. That's where they store the milk. Now to add the poison. Work's been a lot lately, no worries. 
Hope you're doing well, though. Me no choice. Nice, good gold. On to Act Three. It's <clears throat> been a strong here. What do you want, Lord Shimura? Exactly what we need for sub 250. Getting to Act Three. Still have almost a minute to play with. But one split at a time, as always. Then you deserve it, my lord. <sighs> Your horse is at the outer stables. A servant told me about a damaged fence near the gate. You can slip out that way. Thank you, Kenji. On your horses. The rest of you, man the gate. Nice and easy. There he is, on the horse. Last spring. Not here. Very nice. Pretty from his mouth. Really good like escape. Wolf Spain. Clean movement all around. You say it went super well. Unfortunately, my ghost run wasn't the greatest, but uh, I can lose him in the storm. me and I still did really well on commentary and all that. And Forbidden West, I would say, it basically went perfectly. Or exactly as good as I wanted it to be. <clears throat> and generally, the event itself was just a ton of fun, so it was really yeah. awesome. Is that you? Also, just nice seeing so many people again that I hadn't seen since before COVID. Uh, they are not on YouTube yet, but uh, uh, somebody might have the link to the bots. They, I know they are linked on Discord somewhere. I 
think I found a better hideout. Climb up and look toward the mountain. A hideout. Somewhere by the mountain. Jogoka's pagoda. Sheltered, defensible. And in striking distance of the Khan's stronghold. There's only one problem. The Mongols have it. We can fix that. Let's get the horses. And you, you can also find them on the ESA's Twitch channel under the highlights. Fired on but obviously there's a lot of highlights, so it might be a little tricky to find the specific one. These will have to do for now. Are those people from Kin? I don't know. The Mongols burned a lot of towns. If we'd only pursued their army instead of fighting each other. Why did you surrender to your uncle? If I didn't give myself up, everyone who followed me would have attacked the samurai and Lord Shimura. It would have been a massacre, just like the Khan wanted. Your uncle played right into his hand. He was backed into a corner by the Mongols, by me, by his duty to the Shogun. We can only win this war if we stand together. Shimura's a fool for turning against you. He wanted me to be his son. I destroyed his dream. By doing the right thing. Being right doesn't always make things better. Tell that to the people you saved. If we kill the Khan and drive the Mongols out, is there a chance your uncle will forgive you? When I was young, Lord Shimura became my father, my sensei, my entire world. I never wanted to disappoint him. I have to hope we can heal this wound. Whatever happens, his forgiveness won't change who I am. He thinks I corrupted you. I made my own choices. Even knowing what they've cost me, I'd make them again. Even if the Shogun brands me as a traitor. We're close to Jogoka Temple. There's a fishing camp on the lake. We could scout the temple grounds from it. Leave the horses here. We'll go in on foot. The woods here are thick. Good cover. For us and the Mongols. The safest approach to the temple right. might be over the ground. Or frozen lake. Let's go. Come on, man. What was up here? That was pretty bad. Dumb mistake there. Explosives on the ice. We can use that against them. Archers watching the lake. They'll see us coming. Pick us off. Let's bring them to us. How? Fire the signal cannon. Lure them onto the ice. Then divide and conquer. Keep watch. I'll draw them out. That will get their attention. Better get back to you now. Oh, fuck. Dang it. It's up. 
Oh, this is a really bad split. Fuck. I don't need splits like that. Use the old road. I work metals, woods, and cloth. Just for you. An excellent choice. I'll make an offer for your good fortune. Here you go. Take care, Gladiator. Dumb mongol spawn here. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Oh. Welcome Got a little worried there that he was. Are you Takashi? <sighs> this he didn't turn around. I get a little worried that I had self loaded it somehow. <laughs> Just took an extra second to turn around for whatever reason. Don't do me like that, Takashi. I don't need that wine now. Completely avoid Mongols here. Especially because we're low on resolve. After Jukago. Looks like the game is being friendly today. Appreciate it. I mean, to be fair, also after all the BS that happened yesterday with unlucky spawns on the road, I guess the game kind of won't be one. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Time to head for the woodcutter camp. Back away from the edge. I'll be right up. Yuna's got some interesting friends. Let's plan our tech. We can see inside from over here. We'll get on that roof. Control the high ground. All right, let's nail a good Kamino Dage here. She was a good teacher. <laughs> you men with me. If the enemy sees me, take them down in a stop. Resolve. <clears throat> what sort of animals? Open fire on my signal. So far, that came from the southern gate. You know, we have to get over there. Let's get a look at the bridge. Somebody clip that. Please, somebody clip that. That was really weird. I have no idea what happened there. That was interesting. Stay safe, Pitchy. I'm trying. Get away. You should have waited for us to open the gate. That was close. Nice. Let's go. Is everyone all right? A really good Kamino Dage. Let's go. Not perfect, but really good. That's what we need. Very nice. Back in a good lead again. <laughs> On to the lighthouse. <clears throat> Gotta remember to swap outfit here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, sorry if you posted the clip. <laughs> but thanks for clipping it. I'll check it out after. Your sail for our mainland. Attack it, just like you did here. This is our last chance to stop him. These flowers. The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did you do the right thing to Mongols castle? I took a risk. My poison saved thousands. But if it kills thousands more. We have to stop the Khan before it comes to that. You're right. We need to kill him. Soon. We can't get in the front, but we could climb around the cliff. You'll scout Port Izmi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. Yeah, I just posted on the Clips channel on Discord. I appreciate it. Over here. 
Let's find our plan of attack. The harbor master's estate. The Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks and his fleet. Makes sense. See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly in them for shelter. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Uh, Kotan would send horsemen to outflank us. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. That ridge has an open sightline to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships. You're greedy. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Saft. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the generosity and Saft enjoy the emotes. some good news Lord Sakai there let's hope my uncle reads it <laughs> yeah, you can do that on purpose that'd be something I can't replace what you lost but nice to have a clip of it <laughs> Easy there. It's all right. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Sora. I'm from the heavens. Good choice. How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there. And I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. Hold on to where? Get all on the west rats. We do have plenty of resolve. We can get the boost here if we nail them. If I attack the guards, it will prove I'm the monster they think I am. It's something that way. Come in. Boost. Aim could have been a little better on it. I'll take it. Have to go around the rock to get up. ending that was 
I'm way too close. Oh my god. Ah! That would have been such a sad waste to lose the run if I had fucked that up. Holy fuck. That was way too close. Woo! We got it. Two more quests to go. What took you so long? Here's all I have. I hope it helps. Worthy of a samurai. I look forward to hearing... Sakai! Sakai! Are these Kayori Kara guys gonna be in the way? No, we are gonna My get Lord, them. Please help! Good. I want them to plug Yuna. And I'm trying to get her to walk faster. You're wondering if this saved times? It does. <laughs> In this section here, I believe it actually save can save you five seconds if you do it well. If I timed it correctly. Because trust me, you know walks very slowly here. Let's go, eternal blue sky, here we come. This is it. Come on. We have one. Let's do it. Jin. Now. The Mongols are coming. We'll cut down anyone who gets through. And worked. You're all safe. Your 
I will avenge the people of Tsushima. Go! One more fight. Come on. Nailed the, the Khan is all. Dead. Let's go. His army is still here. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. Bring hope to our people, fear to the Mongols. And be hunted by samurai. If anyone can change a samurai's mind, it's you. Keep fighting. Still got one more fight. One more fight. Bombs ready in case we have a Mongol spawn. Doesn't look like they're spawning, so we should be fine. And we have the correct stands, good. And full result, we should be fine. Lord Shimura isn't here. I'll wait for him on the dock. Alright, let's just enjoy the beauty of the game. <sighs> and don't do a pulse F. Don't need a pole right now for this run.
Uh, let's just enjoy how beautiful this game is before the final fight. Yes. The Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left in shooting, they say. A task I hoped we would face together. As father and son. You can still remarry. Start a new family. Yes. I suppose I can. Looks like he could use a push. Here. Let us help you. Do not trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You are much too kind. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your courts. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. Followers will obey you. It's enough riding. Walk with me, Jin. As you wish. Right? The haiku and then the fight. Family cemetery. Let's do it. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai. Including your mother. And my father. We must pay our respects. that shape the world. <sighs> Come on. Destiny divides our souls. This is where we part. Let me go in peace. Dealt my spirit we never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. Let me go in peace. You want revenge for my failure. This is not my revenge. This is not my revenge. It is my punishment. Ah, let's go! There it is, 249, 41, sub 250. He really tried to get me there, but no, I I was ready. <sighs> there it is, sub 250, let's go! As a great warrior. He almost had me, he almost had me. <laughs> Ooh, I was not scared at all. <laughs> GG. Whew, what an achievement. Something I definitely didn't think was possible. It's just a month ago. I will. Now we have sub 250 and goes to Shima on lethal difficulty. Ah, let's go! Another great achievement. I told you I would get it before April. <laughs> Woo! 
What a great run to do it on as well. This was a solid run overall. Let's enjoy the music. <laughs> That was a stressful act three. I'm not gonna lie. Once I got past, uh, once I got past Castle Shimra, the nerves just kicked kicked in. Cause then I was like, okay, now it's on. Cause I always feared that I was gonna have a run where I just lost everything to Castle Shimra. But uh, that didn't happen. But once I got past, I was like, okay, now I gotta make sure it's it. <laughs> So, lots of nerves, nerves to combat there in Act 3, but whew, we overcame them and we achieved another fantastic speedrun time. <sighs> <sighs> this is definitely the proudest speedrun time I've gotten in a non-Horizon game. <sighs> I'm so happy about it. Let's go. <laughs> Whew. Uh, let's quickly go over the run, shall we? So, pretty solid Warriors code. Solid Isikawa. Uh, actually, a little slow on Masako. I think uh, Shogun was a bit slow because uh, Masako was kind of in the way. Um, Asuma Bay was really good. Wait, was this the run where I trash talked uh, Last of Us Part 2 in the beginning? Awesome. Can't wait for the YouTube comments where people are gonna be like, oh my god, he's just hating The Last of Us 2. <laughs> but I don't care, I got sub 250. <laughs> uh, Straw Hats was pretty solid. Uh, Oriha, the boat section was kind of slow there, so could have saved a lot more time on that one, but still a good, good split. Uh, really good Komatsu. A little few mistakes in the first two fights, but uh, Unified and the final fight were really good. Uh, Iron Hook was really solid. Um, it was solid overall, but messed up a little bit with the big guy because uh, uh, the game thought I wanted to stab him when he. Uh, I was apparently not spotted, and that caused me to assassinate him, which is bad in that fight. And yeah, that was just messy. But uh, overall, still a solid split. Castle Canada was really good. Um, say New Horizon was pretty solid too. Except the fight in the field was a little slow, so that's why I lost time. But other than that, it was really good. Uh, really good Mitsudake, not really anything to complain about there. Yarikawa was pretty solid. Uh, coward fight was pretty good. There was one guy that snuck past me, so it probably would have been a gold had I spotted that guy a little quicker. But other than that, it was really good. Uh, the ghost was really good too. Uh, Yuriko was basically perfect as well. Uh, reckoning the... Uh, there was one dog that kept biting me. I think it bit me twice. <laughs> if I could have avoided that, it was really good. But other than that, stupid Chow Chow is pretty good. <laughs> uh, Castle Shimura was... Uh, it was good for the first half, and then the second half was not bad, but slow. And because my previous BB had a really good... had a perfect Castle Shimura, I lost a lot of time there. I played it perhaps a little too safe on Castle Shimra, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. Uh, Darkness was really good. Obviously a gold, so nothing there to complain about. Uh, escape was perfect. I was going up a gold, gold split there, so lost a second, but yeah. Nothing to rat complain about. Uh, Jukago was pretty bad. I think my nerves got a little ahead of me on Jukago, but... Uh, Still got a decent split, but uh, yeah, just uh, didn't think clearly on that split and made a lot of mistakes. But then uh, managed to get back on the horse and focus again for Kami no Dage for a good time save there, so that was nice. And then Lighthouse was solid, uh, Jitsu's Heart was solid, got two good boosts. Uh, the second boost could have been better and then nailed the skip first try, so that was really solid. Port Izumi was pretty good, the end fight could have been a little better if uh, it wasn't a big guy left at the end, but uh, oh well. That happens sometimes. You can pick and choose who gets terrified. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, I had to kill a big guy. But oh uh, no, it was really good. 
The calm was perfect, the duo was really solid, and uh, the boat section were perfect as well. And then uh, Shimura at the very end. Good fight, but I didn't get any of the big damage boost, so I had to... He had a chance to attack me there at the end, but uh, I managed to dodge it and then uh, do a quick attack on him and finish him off. So that was really nice. He almost got me, but uh, I managed to uh, play around it. But there you have it. We got the sub 250 in Ghost of Shima. An absolutely amazing achievement. Again, just a month ago, like when I was at ESA, I did not think this was possible. But I always said that once I came home from ESA, I wanted to take this category, look for a ton of new strats and try to optimize it. And that has been achieved now. So I'm really happy with this. <sighs> probably done, definitely done with this category for a while. I'll probably come back to it in the future. Not sure when, but... I got, I got what I came for in this category, and I'm super happy with it. For Ghost of Tsushima, I don't know, my next goal will probably be to try to get a really good time in Iki Island, but uh, I'm not sure when I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I would love to get a good time in Iki Island as well, but uh, for now, I'm super happy with this category. So, GG. Sub 250, Ghost of Tsushima on Lethal. Let's go.